Greetings to my fellow hoppers, both here in the United States and around the world. Currently, I'm in San Jose, California for the much-awaited grand opening of the permanent home of our Silicon Valley Regional Office. I regret that I can't be there in Houston with all of you to celebrate in person. Even so, I can feel the energy and enthusiasm and excitement from the convention center reverberating all the way out here to the West Coast. How could I not? After all, this annual celebration has grown from 4,700 attendees to over 12,000 in just two years. What an incredible achievement. Unfortunately, I never had the honor of meeting amazing Grace Hopper. That said, I consider her a kindred spirit. Like many of us techies, Grace combined the analytical mind with an unquenchable curiosity from a very early age. When Grace was just seven years old, she dismantled her alarm clock to see how it worked, but was unable to reassemble it. She kept experimenting, and after dismantling six more alarm clocks, she finally mastered their operation and successfully put one back together. That's persistence to be admired, and Grace has benefited from a supportive parent. Instead of scolding her, Grace's mother asked her to please take apart one alarm clock at a time. Taking things apart, tinkering, putting things back together, sometimes in new and different ways, we hear time and time again how these are keys to innovation. Like Grace, and I hope many of you, I benefited from parents who encouraged me to think creatively. My mother was a scientist and my dad an engineer. One of my fondest childhood memories was my father and I building a Heath kit handheld radio in our living room. I also benefited from having grown up in the Silicon Valley, on a street where all the dads were engineers, many of whom started their own companies, often based on a clever invention which they patented to then bring their invention to the marketplace. Some of those companies failed while others succeeded and a few of them revolutionized the way we live in far-reaching ways that only technology can. The transformative power of technological innovation was a childhood lesson that I'll always remember. And that early lesson inspired me to go to study electrical engineering and computer science at MIT. It was there that thanks to the trail blazed by courageous women like Grace Hopper, I had the privilege of working in the MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab. Grace Hopper knew that feeling. She was one of the first women ever to earn a PhD in mathematics at Yale. She was also a female research fellow in the engineering and applied physics department at Harvard's computation laboratory in the 1940s. She clearly must have stood out amongst her male colleagues. We all know that achievement is not confined to a specific gender. It coincides with hard work and challenge, something Grace understood well. As she once observed, a ship in port is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. Sail out to the sea and do new things. In other words, take chances and never give up on your good ideas. That's especially true if you're a woman studying or working in science and technology. Take, for instance, Edith Clark, who paved the way for me to get a degree in electrical engineering from MIT because she was the first woman at MIT to do so. Despite her degree, Edith's employer assigned her to a team of women who performed mathematical calculations that the male employees found too tedious. But Edith had an idea, and before long, she went from being a human computer to inventing one. She then patented that technology, and soon electrical engineers were using her invention the Clark calculator to calculate the characteristics of power lines. So, as you celebrate being women in technology, remember the legacy of Grace Hopper and Edith Clark. You have a chance to impact our world in great ways, just as they did. And as you blaze your own path to success, please keep the next generation of women in mind, because someday soon it will be your time to lead and when that time comes, I know you will be ready. Thank you for listening and enjoy the conference. It's our time to leave.